Tidyverse is one of the most downloaded R packages. In this tutorial, we shall use functions from the Tidyverse package to investigate missing values in our data. We want to complete the following four tasks. First, how many missing values are in each column of our data frame? Select only the complete columns. Filter for only the complete rows and filter for complete rows based on mason values in specific columns. Let us read the data into R using the read underscore CSV function and assign it to a variable df. Run that line of code. You can use any data of your choice to follow this tutorial if it contains mason values. I prefer my column names to be in lower case, so I will use this line of code to achieve that. I will be clearing the console from time to time using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus L. Let us begin with the first task. Find how many Mason values are in each column of our data frame. To do this, we take the data frame and pipe it into the summarize function. I am using the across function to select all the columns and apply the sum is.na to all the selected columns. The tilde symbol before the sum function is a shorthand way of writing a mapper or a function in tidyverse, and the dot or period as an argument of the is.na function is a pronoun that replaces the selected columns. Running this gives us a white data which perhaps it's not easy to read. We can turn it into a long format using the pivot underscore longer function and selecting every column using tidy select semantics. There we have an output quite easy to read. The RM column has no missing values, but age has 20 NAs. Before you get confused, it is just a coincidence that all the columns with missing values have a count of 20. We could have achieved the same result using different means. These are some of them. Note that as at the time of recording this video, the scoping variant functions like summarize underscore all are being superseded by the across function. Also, the gather function is gradually being replaced with more flexible pivot underscore longer function. And of all the approaches, you may prefer the map underscore df function if speed is an issue for you. Let us go to the second task. Select only the complete columns. A complete column is a column with no mason value. We take the data frame and pipe it into the scoping select underscore if function. But since we want only the complete columns, we negate the any function. Run it and we get data for columns with no NAs. That is 8 complete columns out of 14. Note that if you want to do this for incomplete columns, that is columns with NAs, then take out the negation unary operator or the exclamation mark before the any function. The third task Ask us to filter for only the complete rows. Once again, we take the data and with the help of the drop underscore NA function, we remove rows with missing values. This gives us only the rows with no missing values. We could have used the filter function and filter for cases where is.na is false. If we want to find only rows with missing values, then we exclude the negation unary operator. Try that out. Our final task is to filter for complete rows based on missing values in specific columns. Using the drop underscore na function, we just 
pass the column name as an argument. In this case, we want to filter for all records where the age variable is not missing. Run it and we see the expected record. I will just count the number of NAs so we can see that indeed the age column has no missing values. And there we have it. This time, age has zero missing values. Note that the drop underscore NA function accepts tidy select semantics. And hence, we can inspect multiple columns for missing values. For instance, we can drop rows with missing values using columns that have the letter A in their name. Note that if you want to use the filter function and inspect multiple columns for missing values using the tidy select semantics, you will need to use the across function. I hope this adds to your knowledge in using R as a data analysis software, specifically data manipulation with the tidyverse package. Thanks for watching.